Moving on now to the big announcement that came down Friday. Attorney General Merrick Garland, by the way, did that Friday deliberately. Oh, of course. Um, you know, yes. kind of bury it on a Friday so people don't see it. Uh, he named a special counsel for the investigations in the documents that were found at Mar-a-Lago and the January 6th riots at the Capitol. Uh, this, the latest in the witch hunt into the former president who's now running for president again. Yeah, join us now for more as a former acting attorney general, Matt Whitaker. Sir, thank you so much for joining us today. So the Washington Post saying that review has not found any apparent business business advantage to the types of classified information in Trump's possession also do not point to any nefarious efforts by Trump to leverage, sell, or use the government's secrets. What do you make of this? Well, good morning, and of course, I mean, you know, President Trump, to the extent he had these documents, uh, not only, you know, it's apparent that he believed he could possess these documents, but he felt that they were, you know, his uh, personal records and that he uh, had every right and entitlement to to have documents uh, at Mar-a-Lago, which is where his office and his home is in Florida. So I, uh, you know, I, I think this appointment of the special counsel, to your to your point, um, was made uh, on a Friday to try to bury it over the weekend so that you know it wasn't covered. But also, I think you know Merrick Garland is looking for any kind of way uh, to to you know not take responsibility. Um, for you know this this case and try to get it away from politics, but by doing this, it is even more political than if he had just left it to the uh, current process. Yeah, exactly. He's looking for insulation. The Wall Street Journal had some reporting about that over the weekend, but they better have the goods um, if they do decide to indict or charge the former president. But isn't it interesting, uh, Matt, that that ultimately that decision will still lie with Merrick Garland, despite what the special counsel Jack Smith. Uh, uncovers. Do we still have you? I think you froze. Oh, it looks like we might okay. have lost the uh, former acting attorney general there. Uh, it, so what's interesting about this situation, so Jack Smith, um, he's the special counsel. He's going to run all of these DOJ-related investigations. They had to do this because now Joe Biden is is got one candidate that he's running against, at least right now, and that's Donald yeah. Trump. That's his chief rival. Uh, Matthew, if we have you, uh, I'm not sure if you caught my last question there, um, but I, I'm just, isn't this still totally political in nature? It is, and this is, I, I, I caught the, the thing and it froze up, but, uh, you know, Merrick Garland is still the decider in this. He still is going to take a recommendation from Jack Smith, and he's going to decide whether or not to make this prosecution. But if this case, uh, to your point, if they're going to go after a former president and, you know, most likely future president, you better have a very strong case. Uh, and I think this has to be above board for all Americans. And so, you know, if you bring a case in Washington, D.C., for example, everyone's going to see that the fix is in because. You know, the what we learned from the, you know, both the, the Mueller investigation, but more importantly, the Durham investigation, is that a, a jury or a grand jury in Washington, D.C. is not going to be fair to Donald Trump. Yeah, I wonder, uh, sir, if this shows a clear bias that a special counsel has been appointed to investigate Trump, but not Hunter Biden. Yeah, that's a really great point, Allison. I, I see um, that as the, really the uh, hypocrisy um, of the whole entire politicized Department of Justice, because you know that you 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 can't say that in the interest of the public, we're going to you know have a presidential candidate uh, you know have a special counsel investigate him and not suggest that the same public interest doesn't apply to the son of the sitting president. I think I think it's a complete outrage uh, that there isn't a special counsel for Hunter Biden, but you know. It has always felt like um, they are directing that investigation from Maine Justice in Washington, D.C., to try to give political cover to the president and not uh, have it be a, a liability for him. Yeah, it's also interesting, too, just the side of this that's, that's human. Merrick Garland's singing for his supper here. If, if, let's say, Joe Biden loses in 2024, Merrick Garland loses his job. So that's a part of this as well. But just quickly, I don't know what it is about... about Biden administration officials falling off bikes. Uh, Joe Biden had that, that little spill off a bike over the summer. Did you see this, Matt? So Jack Smith, the special counsel, is still in the Netherlands right now because he had a bike accident. So he's not even here in the U.S. Apparently he fell off his bike. Yeah, I hadn't seen that. I'm not following Jack Smith's uh, every move, but it's uh, this is something. I wasn't either. I just heard <laughs> that. Did. It stuck out to me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Maybe they should stick to a stationary bike. Yeah, yes. I'm surprised they didn't have this yeah. heat up.
Absolutely. <laughs> um, former Acting Attorney General Matthew Whitaker, good to see you again. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you. Thank you.